time to love them or leave them on the Kenny Smooth Morning Show. Sissy Brown, who are we saving today? I don't know if she can be saved. Let's try. You know, (laughs) I'm probably going to get preemed for this because you would think I would have known. At least that's what my friends are saying. Me and Jay have been dating for almost a year, enjoying life, contemplating futures and such. Last week, we went to the Titans game, and he said he'd be right back. While he was gone, I went to the bathroom, and that's when I saw him in the cigarette section smoking cigarettes. Now, I have never seen, smelled, or even thought that he smoked anything. I'm a maniac, asthmatic, and detest the smoke no matter who you are. I was instantly disgusted. I approached him and asked him why he never told me he smoked, and he said he didn't think it was a big deal, but almost a year, and I didn't know. I just want to drop him and run. I can't be with someone that smokes even though he is good at hiding it, and he's good to me. I just know, though. But how can I be with him? Oh, wow. Almost a year. That's different. Yeah. So you've been with somebody all this time. You know, how does he do that? It, it can happen. No way. Tr- oh, absolutely. What are you doing? Changing his clothes? I mean, you have uh, cologne. You have gum. You have Wet ways wipes. that you can I mean, roll your windows down while you're smoking. It's still hard. Lotion, antibacterial hard soap, gum, uh, scope. I'm, it's possible. He must take his teeth out and put some new ones in. <laughs> he, he, got, he got a detachable mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he got something and going then he on might not do there. it all the time as well. But she said after a year, she had no clue. Wow. Mm-hmm. So for people that are you know asthmatic and for people that just detest smoke, yeah. If you've been dating this long and you ain't know, could you go ahead and say, well, you know, I ain't been knowing. Let me so go on and keep the party going. Keep the party going. Can you work it out? Mm. Can you love them or leave them? Hit us up. So. He's other than just smoking. Hmm. I think he really needs to get to the bottom of this because, uh, I mean, he's been that good and get away with it for a year. Yeah. It's no, it's no going on than what she knows. Hmm. You know what? He obviously really good at what he's doing because uh, a whole year. Yeah. He's doing a good job. He got away with that for. I wonder what else he can get away exactly. with for a whole year. Exactly. Probably can get away with murder. Something. Mm. T-Dub, what you think about it? Uh, Gone and love him. I mean, I, I, if he's done that for a year, I mean, he can do it too. He can do it three, but, you know, I'll still talk about, you know, give my thoughts on how I feel about it. Mm-hmm. But smoking, get rid of somebody. Love is hard to find out there. You talking about but smoking? But she's asthmatic too. It's not that she just doesn't like I, the smoking. I, I, get, I get that, but he's done, a no good, joke. he's done a good job for a whole year. Big ups to him. Do another So year. you would just say you just have to keep it away from me, basically. Yeah. Now, okay. if he gets to the point where it's involving my, you know, asthma, then we got to go. Okay. But you're in jeopardy of my life. Exactly. All that kind of stuff. But if you're looking out for me, then thank you. Okay. Slazy, what you think about it, man? I feel like he's looking out for her. That's why he ain't smoking around her. He hiding and smoking. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's hiding anything else. Everyone like, he must be hiding something else if he hid. He didn't. Some smokers are ashamed that they smokers. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got wow. nothing. That's he, true. He's that had true. nothing. He ain't got no other secrets. He just didn't want to ruin the relationship because he knows she didn't like cigarettes most. So he probably rinses his mouth out good, wash his face, get it out of his mustache mm-hmm. and beard. Because it, it be in your beard. And yeah, stuff. be all in your so head. He, he probably was doing all that. I mean, because he don't want to, you know, run her away. All and right. he addicted to her. So okay. she should come to him like, I got some patches for you, some yeah. gum. Let's do this together. I'm going to smack him out your hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying let's do this. Let's quit it together. No, I'm saying try CBD. See if that you know. See if that works for yeah, you. See if that works for you. Get off the nicotine though. Seven three seven nine two nine two. Do you love him or leave him in this situation? You got a couple that together, and for a whole year they've been together. She didn't know he smoked. They were at the Titans game last week, mm-hmm. and then he was over there in the corner smoking the cigarettes. Smoke, you know, because right there in the corner where yeah, the stairs yeah, all are. All those cigarettes. The people that smoke cigarettes, they look so sad over in the corner. Just. <laughs> Oh, mashed up together. Especially when it's cold outside. Yeah, it's so oh, my chill. goodness. It'd be a warm about 50 I'm something so with a bubble coat on, on with fur around the collar. Like, you too grown for this coat. <laughs> hit us up. 737-9292 or hit us up. Want to listen live. They tell it like it is. My husband is a smoker and me and my daughter, when we find his cigarettes, we t- one time I took them all out and put Q-tips in there. Oh. Then sometimes when we find them, we break them all in half and put them back in his pocket. <laughs> Does he get mad at y'all? Oh, my goodness. He's like, who did this? So it's kind of a running joke now. So whenever we find <laughs> his cigarettes, it's something that's going to be done to him. Wow. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good idea. <laughs> Thank 
right, girl. Thank you for sharing. Uh, yeah, I, I would definitely say only because I'm currently uh, dating someone who is a cigarette smoker and I'm an asthmatic. Now, what oh. happens is that he does not smoke around me. Um, and I've also have been helping, encouraging him to stop because he personally wants to stop as well. But he also doesn't even smoke as much as he used to. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, and he doesn't do it around me. Um, now how long have you yeah, guys been together? How long y'all been together? We have been together um, a year and a half. Okay. It's almost a similar story. And yours is working out. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Invite us to the wedding. Okay. Right, for real. For real. I will. <laughs> you got some good food. You need a DJ. Oh, God. Nah. <laughs> you know how that goes. <laughs> so, Sissy Brown, are you loving or leaving? I'm loving him, but love him? I'm loving with parameters. Okay. If you don't stop smoking, we cannot be together. Period. Oh, wow. Especially if I have asthma. My daughter has asthma, and it is not a joke, and anything can trigger it. He could have forgotten to watch, you know, to get it off of his coat, and the you know, the scent from it can make you asthmatic and have an asthma attack. Wow. So it would have to be, you have to stop smoking. I'm sure there's some things that I do that he probably doesn't like, but it's not affecting his life. So right. this is my Can't life. kill him. Yeah. So if you quit, let's keep the party going. If you don't quit, hey, man, it was fun while it lasted, yeah, but man. I got to move on. Right, and then go Titans. Is that what y'all broke up? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right there. There you go. Right. Let us know what you love and believe in. You got a couple there together, and they've been together for about a year. Mm-hmm. And she didn't know he smoked. She's asthmatic. I'm sure he knows that. Yeah. And so he's not been triggering anything with her. And then they went to the Titans game re- recently. And, you know, he went up to the little area where the smokers is at. And she went over to do something. And she saw him over there smoking. I said, get rid. Mm-hmm. She was like, oh, yeah, no. instant. Yeah. Ugh. So she's trying to figure and she really is digging the dude. And obviously he's taking care to make sure that she's not around. The smoke and that's cool and respectable. And, but, and all that. Mm-hmm. So we're trying to figure out and you guys can help her with your comments. Because she's saying she she's saying she's going to leave. She's going to leave. But she's, she's like, like, I love him. But I what can we do? It. What do y'all think? How would you handle seven, three, seven, nine, two, nine, two. Love him. I leave him. I give you my comments. In about five minutes. Eva on the Kenny Smooth Morning Show. Uh, love him, Kenny. Uh, it, it just doesn't make good sense if, if everyone has vice. So if that one little vice, you know, because it's hard to trust folks out here nowadays. So if one little vice is going to keep you from enduring and staying with me so I, we can have a relationship and actually build something, then fine. But it's a little vice, like you're saying, little vice that could have cost her life. She's asthmatic. On our way to work, when we drive, I, some of these folks out here have road rage. You can shit on your way to work. Yeah. But that's a vice that can be changed. But mm. I might die if I'm sitting in the car with you in traffic and you smoking a cigarette. Ooh. Quicker than I'm going to die cr- crashing I hope somewhere. He ain't been doing nothing stupid like that. Hopefully he don't do that. Smoke right in the college. Yeah, that would be. No. You know, I mean, you got a guy, man. In, in my mind, it's a guy that's... Uh, that's been trying to accommodate the situation. I guess he doesn't want her to realize it. And eventually all this stuff is going to come to light. Yeah. Um, and I think he needs to be prepared. If he was making all those sacrifices, it's time to make the ultimate sacrifice when it comes to the smoking and let it go. You know, if you, you know, every relationship is going to require some sacrifice of some kind. True. Yeah. Every last Man, one. You ain't never So lie. you don't have to <laughs> let them cigarettes. Be, them Benson and Hedges menthol got to go. Ooh, cigarettes. So uh, you want to let them go if you want to keep that woman. Right. Uh, and you want to gain, you want to continue her trust because she's trusting you now with her life. Mm-hmm. You know, most people don't go into a relationship like that. And you know, that's a lot. I'm trusting you now with my life. So, yeah, you're going to have to make that sacrifice. What you going to do with it? Get rid of them cigarettes. All right. That's my advice on this whole thing. Today's love them or leave them.